Hey guys, Neil Bingo with Geezer to Geek. Today I'm going to show you guys how to move pictures from the Galaxy S4 or any other Android phone onto your computer, which I'd show you the Galaxy S4 right now, but I'm actually recording this on my Galaxy S4. So, you just got to trust me. Anyways, so your phone will have come with some sort of, like, it, it may be black, it may be white. If you've got the Galaxy S4, then it's going to be a white one like this. And this is your USB cable. One end is going to be, it's going to have this little icon on it. It's not wanting to go into focus, but there you go. And it's a little rectangular plug-in like that. The other end is also USB. It's going to have the same icon, but this is mini USB. And what you're going to want to do is you find a USB slot on your computer, and you the icon usually is going to be facing up, and you just plug it in like that. And you plug this end into your phone. So pretty much just like charging it, except you plug it into your computer. You may already charge it using your computer. Um, so yeah, pretty much plug that in, and we'll head over to the computer side of it. See you in a sec. Hey, so here on the computer side, when you plug in your phone, you'll have this little menu pop up. The first one that's going to pop up is going to be something else. It's going to be like a, it's going to be a smaller menu. It only comes down to like right here, maybe smaller little menu, and it's going to be um, like the Verizon stuff and your phone stuff itself. The second one that pops up is what you're going to want to use, which is going to have some different information about syncing files over or importing. Right here, you have two options for importing pictures and videos. Either one will work, but personally, I would say to go with the one using Windows Live Photo Gallery. So go ahead and use that one, and it'll find all the pictures and videos you have on your phone, which is what it's doing right now. It's searching for just all the files throughout your phone that you want to transfer over. It'll find all those, and then in a moment, it'll ask us what exactly we want to do with them. So I'll go ahead and cut this part out, and see you guys in a moment. Alright, so it found 118 new photos and videos on my phone. And it gives us the option to either just go ahead and import them all now. And if we do that, it'll I'm guessing this is just going to be like a folder name or something to put them all in. But I would say uh, check review, organize, and group items to import. So this is where, like, everything that's checked, it's going to import. So anything you don't want to import, just uncheck. For now, for this example, I'm just going to leave it how it is. I have all these different, all sorts of things on my phone. Oh my gosh, what is with my facial hair? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I have all this random stuff on here. I'm just going to go ahead and import it all as it is. And it'll start the importing process right here. You can also check erase after importing, which should take them off your phone. You can import them to your computer and have them deleted off your phone. Say you're trying to save space on your phone, you can import, you check this little box right here and it'll import them to your computer and then erase them off of your phone so that you can then have space for new pictures on your phone and import those to your computer later. So anyways, I'll also cut this part out. See you guys back here in a moment right after it's finished. Alright, it just completed and it's opening it up. Here it is. Windows Live Photo Gallery. Use to open these types of files. Sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and hit no for now. But anyways, so as you can see, all my photos from my phone are now in here. So, pretty simple. I'm not going to really look at that right now. And I kind of want to at least keep some privacy to my photos. So, but yeah, so pretty much you plug your phone in, select import pictures and videos, or photos and videos, whichever it is, and then just follow the steps it provides, and it'll, let's see if we can, it should have, if I go to pictures, it should have a little folder for them now, actually, wow, yeah, it created a ton of folders in here for when they were all taken, I'm probably just going to go and delete these all because I want them to stay on my phone, but, yeah, it'll create folders for all of those, when, in the little review thing that it showed like review and organize before importing them you can probably organize out specifically where you want them to go or if you all want them to all go into one folder or whatever but we'll save that for another video for now you know 
the basics of transferring them to your computer. I hope this helped and good luck transferring your photos.